A new study shows phones and tablets could increase the odds your children will be nearsighted. That means without glasses or contacts, faraway objects appear fuzzy. It's a trend that has been on the rise now for decades. Why are more of us nearsighted? Good question. Heather Brown stopped by the Children's Museum today to shed a little light on the topic. How old were you when you first got glasses? I was five. Seventh grade. I was four or five. Well, I had the, like, bright red glasses. Oh, Sally, Jesse, Raphael. I think I was in third grade, and I remember the whole world opened up. In 1971, a quarter of Americans were nearsighted. Now it's almost up to 42%. Why is that happening? I think a lot of it is that we're spending much more time these days uh, viewing objects that are very close to us. Dr. Seth Silbert is an ophthalmologist. And is it worse when we're doing it as kids? It is. That's when the eye is growing. And it's most susceptible to continued expansion in its size. We see clearly when the lens focuses the light of what we're looking at on the back of the eye. For those of us that are nearsighted, the eye tends to be too long. When that happens, we focus the light on the middle of the eye rather than the back. That makes things look blurry. Do you think your kids are going to need glasses? I would say 100% yes. <laughs> My wife is like blind as a bat. Some of nearsightedness is just genetics, right? Yes, I think a, a large portion. For about half of people, the lining of the eye, the sclera, is elastic. That makes someone susceptible to nearsightedness. If you spend a lot of time mm -hmm. viewing objects very close, this muscle is constantly contracted, that sclera will stretch out in response and it doesn't return to its original shape. Dr. Silbert says this doesn't mean kids should read less or not use tablets. It's difficult. Um, Nicholas is very drawn to a lot of the educational programs. And I recommend for parents actually yeah. make sure to spend lots of time playing with them. Take them outdoors. Mm -hmm. Make sure they're engaged in activities that involve viewing objects at various distances. I think both these ladies are rock stars <laughs> with the way they balance it. And what about this guy? Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Heather Brown. We'll <laughs> see if we can hold him off as long as they can. WCCO 4 News. If you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to wcco.com slash links.